What's up everybody, Vin Teaches Math here, and today we're writing equations of tangent lines to parametric curves. So we have a parametric curve defined with an x and y component in terms of time, and we want to write the equation of a line that passes through 0, 0. So for both of these questions here, we want to make use of the formula dy dx equals dy dt over dx dt. Now, this formula is not crazy complicated because the dt's cancel out and it just gives you this. But what this tells us is that if we want to find the rate of change of this curve, what we need to find is the derivative of y with respect to time and the derivative of x with respect to time and then divide them. So we have the x component here. We're going to take the derivative with respect to time and the derivative of 6 sine t in terms of time is 6 cosine t. Let's just move this over here. Now for the next part, we're going to take the derivative of the y component and the derivative of the y component with respect to time using power rule is 2t plus 1. So we're going to be looking at two examples, but for this one we're going to be given the point, not the uh, set time. Uh, so when we're given the point, the approach is a little bit different, but we still want to find an expression for dy dx, which using the idea from the formula, just divide the 2t plus 1, that's dy dt. We're dividing that by dx dt. Okay, so for uh, the next part here, what we need to be able to find is we have to be able to find what value of t generates the point zero, zero. So if we look here, you could set up a separate equation and set the x component, 6 sine t, equal to zero. And sine is equal to zero at t equals zero. It's also equal to zero at t equals pi, 2 pi, and so on. However, if we look at the second equation, t squared plus t is equal to zero for two values, when t is equal to zero and when t is equal to negative one. But we could reject t equals negative 1 because if we were to set up the equation negative 1 equals 6 sine t, then that wouldn't have a solution. So we have to uh, discard the uh, second uh, t equals negative 1 here. Um, well, it, it, would have a, it could have a solution, but it wouldn't give you 0, 0 is the point here. All right, we would get some non-zero solution for, for that particular um, value of t. So then to continue here, what we want to do is substitute t equals zero into the derivative. So we have dy dx at t equals zero. And when we substitute here, we're going to have two times zero plus one over 6 cosine of 0. And then in the numerator we have 1 and 6 cosine of 0 is just 6. So this represents the slope of our line. So then to write our equation and close this question out, just know the general form of a line is y equals mx plus b. And in this case the slope is 1 over 6. We have our x and our y-intercept is 0 since it's passing through the point zero, zero here. Okay, so for this type of question, just remember, um, you have to solve for the value of t. So when we set um, the x component equal to zero and the y component equal to zero, t equals zero is the common solution uh, between them. Now we'll look at uh, another example here, and this one uh, could be a little bit more complicated because the function's more complicated. But for this question, it's gonna be the same idea that dy dx is equal to dy dt over dx dt. So then we're just going to follow that same approach, except here the derivative is slightly more complicated. We have to use the chain rule. So when we take the derivative with respect to time, the derivative of e to the square root t is e to the square root t. And if you're not doing this in your head, I'll just show it over here. The derivative of the uh, numerator 
I'm sorry, the derivative of the exponent square root t is the same thing as the derivative of t to the one half, which is one half t to the negative one half. So we just have to make sure to tack on that one over, and I'll write it like this, one over two square root t. That's the same expression as this. So um, you have to make sure uh, for these kind of questions, I'm assuming that you're already comfortable with derivatives and the chain rule is something that you you know, want to be a master of. And for the next part, you could use the chain rule, but another way of thinking of this is that this is t minus two natural log t. If you use the exponent property of natural logs or any log, you could bring the exponent in front. So then when you take the derivative, you don't have to actually use chain rule. The derivative of t is one, and then the derivative of minus two natural log t is minus two over t. But if you prefer to leave it like this and use the chain rule, you could do that also. So then here, same strategy as before. What we're going to do is come up with an expression for dy dx. And dy dx, we have 1 minus 2 over t divided by. And now I'm just going to write this as a single expression. This is e to the square root t over 2 square root t. But now we want to evaluate this derivative, specifically at t equals 1. So for this type of question, um, we don't have to solve just yet for the, uh, well, we don't have to solve for the value of t, but we are going to have to solve for the value of x and y, you know, when we're looking for the point that our line is passing through. So let's just go back to the same color here. And now we just substitute. We have 1 minus 2 over 1 over, and that's going to just give us e over 2 when we substitute square root of 1 and square root of 1 down here. So now this works out to negative 1 over e over 2, which is just negative 2 over e. So this is our slope. So just to make sure that we're clear of what this represents here. But now to write the equation of our line, we have to know what is the value of x at t equals 1? So we plug in 1 for t, and it's e to the square root 1, which is just e. And then the same thing for y. Our y coordinate, we're going to have 1 minus natural log of 1 squared is 1. And natural log of 1 is 0. So this represents that our point here is e comma 1. So now we can just go ahead and plug everything in. So we'll separate this here, and I'll do the final solution in red. We're going to use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. But then here, all we're doing is we're going to substitute for the point. So we have, I'll just take this out here. So the point is e comma 1. So we're replacing x1 and y1 with e and 1. And then our slope, we could replace with negative 2 over e. Now, for AP Calculus and the rubrics, they accept your answer in this form. But if we distribute here, that's also OK. So we'd have negative 2 over e times x. And this would give us plus 2. And then when we solve this all the way through, we have negative 2 over e times x. And then adding 1 to both sides gives us plus 3. So you could also write your answer like this or like how I had it before. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on writing equations of tangent lines to parametric curves. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below. And if you have any requests for future videos, please leave it in the comments section below, and I will put that on my list of videos to make. So thank you all for watching.